it's another day. Um, my stomach's given me some slight problems. I just had some little snack bar things. South Beach Diet claims to have higher fiber ratio, but it's actually got a higher fiber, a higher sugar ratio to the fiber. Six, seven grams sugar to six grams fiber. Seems a little misleading. <clears throat> But it's not that those bars I had yeah I had all five I had the whole box they're not hurting my my stomach yet maybe they won't you know maybe maybe it really is certain foods that are messing on my stomach these past couple of days have been a challenge it's not like before where there's felt like I swallowed a few needles back a couple of months ago but I'm scared, absolutely. It could could turn out to be similar. It could get just as bad. And that scares me. So I'm leaving the library and I'm heading to the college and it's a good day to check out the college because it's the weekend. There should not be many people on a Saturday morning. I hope. I'm guessing this is probably a college of a neighborhood. <sighs> Look at that trailer. It should be behind these houses or something. <clears throat> I guess I didn't realize how far off the uh, college is from the main street it's a number of blocks street closed hmm I'm gonna have to study that map closer Okay, so there's a sheriff's office of Union County, and then this is the college, and let me just get a close-up of these parking permits. Parking with a permit only. Lots of permit parking around here. So I guess they struggle for parking. One day permits. <clears throat> you get them at a kiosk. I got stupid frisbee golf. I don't know why that got so popular. Whoever invented it. I'm sure they're making millions. Kind of unique art. Maybe this is the art building. It's bed springs. Those are easy to find. So yeah, it's definitely quiet on a Saturday. It's really cold too. It's hurting my hand. Hurting my hand to bicycle. I was going to bicycle yesterday, but it snowed so hard. I had my bicycle outside, out of the car already. I was at Walmart. I was going to ride in from Walmart to the library and record things. But then it just the snow started really picking up, and it didn't show in the forecast any indication. So I didn't know what to expect. They can't even predict snow. As significant as it seems to have been. It just didn't uh, register. <coughs> huh. Eastern Oregon University.
few people out and about here. And this is leaving the Eastern Oregon University. And there's a nice graveyard off in the distance. I don't know where the students are living. Oh well. They got an ROTC for the college. College I went to never had an ROTC, just a veterans club <laughs> for people who are already in it. Oh, here's a welcome sign. Rollerblades are allowed. Who rides rollerblades? That sign was made in the 90s. When rollerblades were getting popular, that popularity did not pervade for very long. You have to bring, uh oh, I got a belt to stop. The one hill. Eastern Oregon University. Right next to a graveyard. It's the first college I've seen that was next to a graveyard. Cemetery entrance. <laughs> That's great. That's rich. That's a good sized graveyard. It gives the students a different perspective on life. I bet they got some stories. Nice trailer court, only a few blocks away from the um, university. Just surrounded by hills. Somebody called these mountains, but I don't know. I kind of am in doubt of that. Oh, oh, oh. Is there 
should have been a sidewalk. Oh, it's too dangerous on the roads. Oh, the Safeway. No way. I've already reached the Safeway. Fuller Auto Repair. Man, <laughs> took a long time to walk to the Safeway. <clears throat> really take for granted how the, the difference in speed. I'm not even pedaling very hard. Holy crap, this is big concrete. All this for funerals. Huh, just keep those caskets out in the open. I've never seen a place that did that before. Maybe it's because they're next to the university. People might be more captivated with death. It's like you go to college, then you go to die. <laughs> it's, it's proximity really can influence somebody, how somebody thinks. Proximity and design. I wonder what came first, the cemetery or the college? So yeah, you, can, you can't see hills looking this way, but this place is definitely surrounded by hills. Private parking. I think this is owned by Safeway too. That's why they say that. Yeah, there's just this huge hillside. And I'm sure people are climbing it. I, I was kind of riding back towards that way, but turned. So I want to check out more of the t city, the t city. I think it's in between a town and a city, especially uh, with the influence of the college. It's a, it's a town in the summer and a city in the winter. Winter hours. What could I rent? Yeah, those hills, oh my god, that would be awesome to get on top of. But oh, I gotta like, I gotta feel around. I don't see any clear trails, but I know that you could go, you could walk anywhere on that. All the vegetation is friendly. Well, there might be falling rocks. There's kind of a trail up, but I think that's for the lumber jacks, uh, timber industry. And yeah, they probably don't want to chop anymore. It's clear what they've stopped at it's at the very top to pre prevent landslides, <laughs> take out the whole town. That's a nice boring bicycle ride. At least the sun is at my back now. At some point I gotta get off the sidewalk. some point I think this is yeah this looks like the intersection they've had problems
I think I'd like to get back to my car and then remove these thick layers of of uh, winter gear. Got a couple of these visitor information signs. One's the other one's at Walmart. This whole street was lined with cars last night. This whole street. There are all kinds of people out and about. I think it's like a big college party district. Stop. Joe and Sugar. <laughs> Library's just up ahead. And I'm overheating. Some kind of free parking up around here. signs. There's a lot of signs on the old buildings that talk about uh, what was there before. Doesn't look too far in. Okay, so you can see how there's an ominous backdrop against these homes. <laughs> oh, it's a one way street. In a neighborhood. Does, do they get that busy? A two lane, one way.
<clears throat> Lion's Field. And I'm moving away from the mountain, or the uh, hill. The part of the hill I want to climb. Hermiston rock products. Hermiston's pretty good distance from here, I think. Ah, dead end. That's got to lead to a trail to, to take you up the hill. This way, but you can climb those deer trails at least. Oh, no trespassing, no hunting or trespassing. <clears throat> That's access to the hill. And it looks like they're. Whoa. There's a sheep. Horses. How far is this dead end? Is that a trail? Some kind of road alongside the tracks. Part of the hill that I want to climb to overlook the city is well behind me. Private property, no trespassing. So that trail thing is for them. Okay, just sort of going downhill. Got to find a place to go to the bathroom, and it's it's not too easy. Everything is fenced. If I wanted to make any climbs, it's all fenced. I think I'm on some major highway. I got to slow down to 35. It looks like so. Should be kind of safe. Uh-oh. 
there's free air. You can air up your tires for free here. A lot of places are $1.25 or $1.50. You know, the city wouldn't be half bad if we didn't have to listen to those trains. I don't know how well they pick up on recording, but they are very annoying. Extremely annoying.